I got in a lot of trouble. Because <laughs> I was more than frisky, I was a little aggressive. Woof. We had a big rivalry with them. And we had a good one because we had all the outlaws, you know. And we were whipping everybody. And I did try to behave and be a gentleman as much as I could. guys have a love story with their car. To see Smokey and the Bandit, it's like you remember your first kiss. You always remember where you saw the movie, who you were with. My brother, me, my uncle, and my father, I remember. And it couldn't have been two or three weeks after that that two Trans Ams appear uh, in our front yard over to the side. <laughs> From that movie, between the four of us, we've probably owned close to 50 Trans Ams. The black cars really got driven hard. That was the car to have. I mean, everybody wanted to be the Bandit. Yeah. Got a lot of looks. Burt Reynolds is fundamentally responsible for the success of the Trans Am brand. It was always something you talk about, and people always come up to you and say, hey, man, you guys need to get Burt Reynolds in. And you're like, yeah, whatever, you know? This truly is the, um, the crown jewel. I loved it. I fell in love. I said, I'll get a car like that. He, he's the man. So if he says he likes it and it's good, then you're done. You know, the best way to say it is I'm just really proud to be part of it. His signature on this edition is icing on the cake. <laughs> well, you got it. Whether you want it or not. There's only 77 that will ever be made. You know, 77 was a year that the movie came out. It was the model year of the car used in the movie. I knew that number. I wanted that number. They chose the right year when they did the movie using that car because they had the 76, which was the 50-year anniversary, and it was a little different nose. The 77, was, they nailed it. Yeah. That car is what we used as a starting point. It's got to be modern where people look at it and they know what it is. Uh, obviously, the shaker hood, the T-tops are a must. If you don't have T-tops, you don't have Trans Am, really. If you only saw that bird, you would say, that's Trans Am. So if you take the two door panels and you put them together, you have the entire bird. With the help of our designer, Kevin Morgan, we came up with a beautiful bandit logo. I mean, this is a class act here. We needed Kevin to knock it out of the park, and he really did. The year of the car in the movie was the first year that they had the snowflake wheels. That's what we had, yeah. I was really excited about the new wheels that we have. Find white letter tires anymore. They don't make them. That adds a real nostalgic look to the car. In terms of just romantically, it certainly has a nice big front seat. You know what I mean? Best seats, in my opinion, were the 78s, and so that's the ones we use. It's just done everything that that car did and more, a lot more. Back in 1977, I think the maximum horsepower was like uh, 185. Our car delivers 840 horsepower to the crank. No, I didn't know it was going to be like that. I mean, that was uh, an airplane, you know, on the ground. Having him put his seal of approval on what we're building, that's the final stamp. This chapter in our business would not be the same had we not been able to partner with Burt Reynolds. Great crews, great facility. What more could you ask for? It didn't matter. I had to behave. You know, I'm pretty good at most things, but I, I'm lousy at that. So we try it again. You know, the big one. There's police cars waiting for us. <laughs>